Welcome to Comic Toy Reviews. This is a quick overview of the seven figures in the Return of Marvel Legends Wave 2 by Hasbro. And this is the build a figure of Arnim Zola. I'll have individual reviews on each of these figures uh, later on in this channel. But this is just a quick look at the packaging and uh, a little talk about the figures. Uh, first of all, like Wave 1, uh, there are seven figures in the wave, but you only need six to build a figure. And the seventh figure does not have a build-a-figure pot. In this case, Spider-Man doesn't have a build-a-figure pot. And what's interesting is that of the seven figures, four of them have variants. And they also build a variant on Amzola, uh, which I'll discuss. Uh, first, you got Dark Wolverine also known as Dakin. This is the unmasked version. The variant, uh, which I don't have yet, has the mask on. And that's the only difference. And this has the left arm of Arnim Zola. Uh, if you see the packaging, uh, it's just like Series 1 in style. And if they really wanted to, like the, like the two packs, they could have just included the head and make you switch it in or out but uh again for a variant it was a little uh cheap way to repackage the figure and sell it again uh unnecessary really but uh that's what they did uh next figure this is uh big time spider-man as you can see here this is the black and green costume and this is the future foundation costume of the white and the black as a Spidey fan, I was really happy to get this one out of the whole wave, out of the variants, in terms of being able to find it. Uh, because this costume, I really don't like too much. And if you saw the uh, online pictures, the costume should look like this, straight black with green highlights. Instead, there's like a green glow all over the costume on the action figure. And from what I saw online, it does not look too good. And probably of the whole wave this costume on this wave too is the least uh appealing just doesn't look good and as you can see here are all the different figures in the wave and as mentioned see this that's the variant this one's a variant uh which i'll talk about this one's a variant and this one four of the seven You can see here the costume looks really nice. Uh, next, this is Madame Mask and the other one. You can see on the card here, the variant. Uh, you can see right here, nice and clear. Here's a key part. This has the torso of Arnim Zola, the builder figure. You can see right here that that's Arnim Zola. Well, the other one, the one in green, the Build-A-Figure part of Arnim Zola on her packaging is the Red Skull and not Arnim Zola. And that Red Skull is a variant piece uh, to make another Arnim Zola Red Skull version. Except that's not really comic book accurate in terms of the costume. But this is the more comic accurate character and how he should be. And just a really good find. This is a Iron Man uh, villainous. And you can see here the art looks nice. Uh, now, next we have uh, Drax. Uh, this is, I think, Drax the Destroyer in Marvel Comics. He looks way different in recent years than he does in the comic books. In the comic books before, he was like a superhero costume. Now he just looks like a, an ordinary character, really. No longer a superhero in style. This has the left leg of Arnim Zola. And uh, in the back. Some nice art. Uh, this one. Marvel's Wrecking Crew. You can see here, Thunderball and Piledriver. This is Thunderball. 
He has Onam Zola's head and control rod. This version has the Onam Zola one, you see, the yellow. The other version, uh, this guy, I think he's supposed to have a red uh, piece in the middle there. And that's for the Red Skull variant. Uh, Marvel's Wrecking Crew. A really big figure, I mean, just huge in the whole wave. This is the biggest one. This one, it, they just call it Captain America, but this is the Winter Soldier, or Bucky Cap, as they, they say. This has the right leg of Arnim Zola. And last, we have X-Force's Phantom X, uh, X-Men character, pretty new in the books in terms of recent years. And uh, originally he had an all-white costume, kind of looking like Storm Shadow. And he has the right arm of Arnim Zola. So that's a quick look at Series 2. And I'll have individual figure reviews uh, later on in this channel. So thanks for watching. And talk to you later.